Hi everyone, today I'm going to talk about wedge fitting. So the reason we're going to talk about wedge fitting today is there's a lot of new wedges being released currently or imminently going to be released in the coming few weeks. So I'd like to talk to you about how we do wedge fitting here in the Pro Fitting Bay. So the first step is gap fitting. So by gap fitting, I mean we check your current pitching wedge, we get you to hit some balls with that and see how far it's going to go, and then we gap the next lofts of the wedges according from there. We're generally looking for around a four degree loft gap. The highest loft gap we'd really want, or the biggest loft gap, would be about six degrees. That then produces the best distance gaps for you on course, so then you don't have any big holes in your bag when you're trying to hit wedge shots into the greens. So the first thing here as well is we're always using real golf balls, Pro V1 golf balls, to do your wedge gapping from. The reason being they give us the most accurate launch and spin values, so give us the most accurate distances compared to other range golf balls. So that's the first step that we do. The next step is that we then go out onto the grass driving range and we bounce and grind test. This is very, very important to be done off of grass. Now the reason being is off of a mat you can't feel the difference quite as much and also on the grass I can have a look and analyse your divots. So we can look at the size, so whether they're big, medium or small divots. We can also look at the depth and we can also look at whether those dip divots are tilted at all to one side. So that's telling me about how you are entering the club into the ground, what type of bouncing grind you're going to be needing. So bouncing grind, if we have a look at the soles of these three wedges. So you can see those three wedges, the soles are slightly different shapes. Those are gonna work better for certain types of golfers. So we need to nail down which one's gonna help your wedge game and help you contact the golf ball how we want every single time. So that's the second stage. The third stage is then we go on to the short game area. So we hit some shorter range pitch shots we can even go down to the chipping green and hit some real close range chip shots because that's really where the wedges are going to be used the most. So we need to again fine tune exactly what grind of wedge is going to help you have the versatility to hit all the wedge shots that you like to play and the style of wedge shots that you like to play. The last thing we need to think about really is the shaft, the lie angle and also the grip type. So we're looking at the shaft in terms of do we need to match it up to what you've currently got in your set or is a wedge flex applicable? We're also looking at the length of that shaft compared to what you're currently playing in your other golf clubs and then also looking to check if we need to change the type or size of the grip that we're going to pop onto the wedge for you. So that really is the whole, um, the whole process of how we do a wedge fitting here at Pro Fitting and we have the added benefit of the outdoor driving range off of the grass and we can also go down to the chipping green to really nail on the wedges you need. So if you feel like your scores can be improved from having better wedges then feel free to pop in and have a chat to us. We can talk you through how bouncing grind has a big effect and see what might help your game.